Hey, what's up you guys? This is Marble Icon 12 one more time doing another quick figure review and today I'm gonna be doing this guy right here. This is the Netflix look cage and it was made by Ganghook. But before I get into this, uh, let me mention that I was able to add another shelf to the collection. I used to have only three shelves and uh, the only thing I have to do now is just add the lights but as you can see I used to have only three shelves and the uh, display but the collection has been growing which is a, a good thing and each shelf was getting too crowded so adding another shelf give you the you know the possibilities for better display uh, postings and stuff like that so yeah pretty happy about that <clears throat> I really like the way it looks now so yeah let me get back into this guy right here like I was saying this is based on the Netflix TV series look cage and uh, let me go through the figure real, real quick so you guys can tell uh, can check on the details and and everything that's the head skull right there you can see you can't deny that this is the actor from um, from the series. Very very nice. I gotta say that all the detail on this figure is very nice. I mean this is Hot Toys level. When you see the clothing, when you see the paint job, just look at the back of the head right there. The lining on the head skull. It's crazy and then the materials they use on the on the clothing is very soft it really feels like a real hoodie you know what I mean and um, keep going down the jeans and then the boots he's wearing the paint job they did is awesome very very nice so I'm pretty happy about this and uh, there's a couple of things about this guy uh, first is uh, this was a collaboration job between Ganghook uh, as all many of you know Ganghook excuse me is a very well-known company they do once scale bodies so it was Ganghook it was B Bimo uh, this guy Bimo he's well recognized uh, for the jobs he do on painting and sculpting head sculpts he do all kinds of head skulls and paint jobs and also Eleven. Eleven is the company that um, they did the Logan, you know, the Wolverine Logan figure and they have another uh, couple of figures in the market too. So yeah, so it was Ganghook, Bimal and Eleven. They got together to put this guy. So uh, Ganghook, they did all the work on the body. 11 they did all the work on the clothing the hoodie the shoes the jeans he's wearing and then Bimo he worked on the head school and then one more time you can't deny that that's the actor from the Luke Cage uh, TV series very happy with this guy one cool thing about this is the only 500 pieces were made only 500 and he comes with the gray t-shirt the one I have in my hands this material is so soft when you put it on you can see the detail on his muscles it's, it's very 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 nice it's, it's so realistic <clears throat> so all the figures the 500 figures they made comes with the gray t-shirt and then the first hundred only the first hundred as a, an exclusive thing, they added the yellow t-shirt, the one he's wearing. If you notice, uh, I don't know if you pay attention into this, but in the Luke K series, he's always wearing the gray t-shirt. But in the Defenders TV show on Netflix, he's always wearing the yellow t-shirt. So I, I think that it was a very cool uh, thing to do that they added the yellow t-shirt for the first hundred people so one more time they, they only made 500 pieces of this guy 
So when it comes to for uh you know to for for a collector value, it's a very need to add this guy into your collection. This figure comes with a uh, certificate. It says right there. Let me see if I can focus it better. It says certificate of authenticity. And they only were made 500 pieces, limited edition, and I have the 377. As you can see, I, I was not included in, into the first 100. So the yellow t-shirt, the one, the, the one that I have, I just bought it off eBay. I just went to eBay and searched for a yellow t-shirt once you scale and bought it. It's not the original, but I mean, it's just a yellow t-shirt and he looks very nice. I really like the Defenders look. You know, it's more comic, uh, comic accurate. So I really like the, the yellow teacher in, in, in the figure. So anyway, let me show you the other accessories. Well, he comes with six hands, the ones that uh, he has on right now, those are Fisk. And then he comes with uh, four more hands. And then these feet right here, these are the regular feet that comes with the gang hood bodies. So I think it was a cool thing for them to just, you know, add it into the figure. I don't, I don't think I will ever use those, but um, I think it was a nice touch for them to just add it into the thing, you know? So yeah, it's very simple. He comes with the great teacher. He comes with four hands, the, uh, the food or the feet and uh, the certificate. Again, I think this is something very neat. Uh, we, um, us collectors, we like to have in our collection something that is very rare or is hard to find. So I think something that is only 500 pieces on the market. And let me tell you guys, this guy is becoming very rare. If you go through eBay or different websites, uh, you cannot find him. And when you find him, he's pricey. I mean, when he came out, I think he was like 150 uh, dollars. And right now he goes for like 250, 230. I was, lo I was lucky enough to buy from this guy over Facebook and the um, 16th Republic for 130 a long time ago. So I think I got a great deal on it. But uh, yeah, one more time, guys. This is the gang hook. Luke Cage based on the Netflix TV series. And, and just before I end this video, let, let me do a comparison side real quick so you guys can see how big he is. All right. And as you guys can see, I have the Daredevil Hot Toys right next to him, and they look awesome together. Uh, Luke Cage is a little taller than him, and that's the way it should be. Even the guy from the, the, the Netflix series, the actor, he's very tall uh, in comparison to Daredevil and, Net and, and Iron Fish. So I think this is a, a very, very good job. I, I still think that he should be a little taller, but I mean, he looks very good. I'm very happy with it. The only thing, the only upgrade I did to this figure to make him look a little better was that... Uh, I add some muscle pads to the legs because his legs, when he get, as soon as he get out of the, the packaging, I noticed that his legs were too skinny. So once I add the muscle pads into this area right here, he looks a lot better. But other than that, I, I feel the, the figure is very good. It's very well done. So I'm very happy with the result. Only 500 pieces were made of this guy and having one of them uh, makes me feel very happy. As a collector, uh, like I say in the past, having something that is rare or hard to find, it gives your collection that little cool touch. You know what I mean? And uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. Uh, it's very hard to find right now. So if you come across to him, either on the websites you visit or eBay and you have a chance to get it, get it. You won't regret it because uh, this guy is very nice. Hot Toys detail, to be honest. It was a very nice job. They did Gang Hook, Bimo, and Eleven 
on this guy. So yeah, Marble Icon 12 one more time. Let me know what you think about this. And I guess I'll talk to you later.